Greetings Hill Divers! File here and in today's video I'm bringing you my latest loadout, one focused on closing spawn points and stopping the enemy's advance. My previous one, the support the troops loadout, did quite well. People were very happy with it, although it didn't get the traction I wanted. It was focused on how to support your team and keep them resupplied. This one is all about stopping the enemy from swarming you and being able to do this from as long a distance as possible. All the tools we're using here are aimed at closing spawn points for, for the Terminids and the Automatons. So without further ado, let's get to it. We're gonna start with the really simple stuff. Get the breaker as your primary because right now it's totally busted and it will help you survive when you're getting overwhelmed. Secondary should be the Redeemer, far better than the starting pistol and better than the Senator Magnum, so this is my go-to. And for grenades, you either want frags or high X. I don't like impact on this build because impact will sometimes get you killed when a small little bugger is coming out of the spawn pool and you happen to throw it. So to avoid this grim faith, use either frags or high X. I prefer the frag because it has a shorter fuse 2.4 seconds long enough for it to bounce into the hole but not too long so as you get a couple more spawns before it takes effect very good grenade you can buy it pretty early on in the bond comes highly recommended for the armor you want a light set with the servo assisted armor passive this is non-negotiable guys it's ideal to have it because it increases your throw distance by a shed load Ideally, you want to pair this with additional grenade capacity and additional grenade spawns, but I haven't had an armor like this rotate into the game yet, at least I don't think so. We have one that can be purchased from the Bond, the CE35 Trends Engineer, but this is medium and I really suggest you keep the mobility as a priority as much as possible. It's good to have a bit of armor, but on the higher difficulty settings you get swarmed so much it is impossible to fight off the enemy numbers, so mobility is key. When it comes to boosters, it's really all about who is the highest level and what they can bring into the game. If your allies can bring everything else, Hellpot space optimization is very very good for you because it will let you spawn into the game with full ammo, grenades and stims and when it comes to grenades especially, it is our focal point and we need as many of them as possible. Now the stratagems, the most important part of the build, no questions asked, the GL21 grenade launcher is the go-to primary stratagem for this build because it is a grenade launcher that allows you to seal breaches from a mile away. Insanely effective if you know how to use it and by knowing how to use it I mean do not spam it, fire it whilst crouched and make sure you arc your shots. The further away the hole is the higher you should be aiming so it arcs and goes in. With a bit of practice you will be able to pull off some especially effective and impressive trick shots turning all eyes towards you. Second is the seal generator pack. There are a few reasons why I like this. For automaton fights it's pretty much self-explanatory. It will help you from RPGs, from small arms fire and so on and so forth. But when you're in a nest, in the thick of it, and you're getting blasted left and right, not only by the enemies, but also by your teammates throwing ordnance trying to seal the holes, this will keep you alive a surprising amount of time. It does not elaborate if you see the description about how it can protect you for explosives but it is very 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 effective if you want to ask me here about the explosives perk on your armor it is good but i still stand by my opinion that having extra grenades is always gonna provide more mileage than just the off chance of surviving a grenade in the face of course we need some heavy hitters here as well orbital laser is excellent if you throw the orbital laser inside a nest and it does not detect any small fries, the laser will start rotating towards the openings, towards the spawn points, and will seal them effectively. So although you don't have many uses, you just start with three, throwing it in there and watch it pulverize the nests is a very satisfying feeling and can give you time since it's an hands-off application. You throw and forget, 
it will take care of business and you can take care of staying alive and killing the enemy opposition of course. Another suggestion is the Eagle Airstrike. Eagle Airstrike is very very good because sometimes the nests are extremely populated. From the moment you approach them you throw this in and then go in and clear whatever is left with grenades or small arms fire. Don't forget it can also seal breaches. It is not as effective as the laser or some other stratagems but if you can line it well enough it will take care of a couple of those nests and a couple of nests while you're getting hunted left and right can make the difference between succeeding in sealing the breaches or getting overwhelmed by the enemy spawning subsequently. When it comes to ship modules there really just one that we suggest you get as fast as possible is the liquid ventilated cockpit fills cockpit with breathable liquid perfluor carbons which absorb g-forces and thereby enable pilots to conduct tighter turns without losing consciousness eagle stratagem cooldown time reduced by 50 percent this is really really good because our eagle airstrike is one of our main tools and this will help you get it back much faster if you swap it out for anything else don't bother with liquid ventilation cockpit although eventually and unavoidably you want all the ship modules to be active it's just passive buffs so prioritize this if you're gonna be using eagles a lot don't prioritize them if you don't feel like using eagles as much so this is it Helldivers, my second loadout as of now focused on sealing bridges and stopping the enemies in their tracks. I hope you found this useful, informative and interesting. I am streaming the game every other day, publishing vids daily and I urge you to come join us online. Great banter, zero toxicity and a lot of friendly faces. Drop into our Discord to find other people to play with. Subscribe, like and hit the notification bell and until next time be well, stay frosty and always strive for perfection. Cheers!